Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is a look at our market leading ETFs via our proprietary scans for the coming week. This is going to be for the week of Monday, August 5th, 2013. Right now in the uh, majors, we don't really have anything uh, shaping up as far as signals, and we've got uh, very, very light volume, except for the uh, kind of the, the, the second cousin, the MDY. All right, moving on to the major sectors, uh, at least domestically, we've got uh, a couple of upside CPS conditions, nothing on the sell side. For the most part, we're seeing a lighter volume here. You can see the, the, v, the volume deviations were pretty decent here to the downside as far as just being down on, on volume overall. A um, little, little bit of volume in the TAN and the IYR, but everything else is, is fairly benign. Finally, taking a look at the commodities, uh, the GDX uh, is having a rough session. Uh, it's having a very weak afternoon. Look at the, the, the VWAP deviation. So they're pushing it down below today's uh, volume weighted average price. But it's on, um, on lighter volume. The only thing that's really in range of some decent volume is the DBA, and there's no signal with that one. Do have a buy signal uh, on the XMA and a camo sell signal in the SLV. Looking at the uh, looking at the foreign stuff, we're a little bit better to buy here, but again, nothing uh, has a volume bump. We've got an upside CPS in the EFAs and the EWZ tracking Brazil has uh, has an upside signal signal as well. EWZ's got very very light volume. Now finally, uh, moving on to the specials. As far as the specials go, we only have one uh, one signal, and that's a, that's a QLD, and it's on uninspiring volume, and not really seeing anything that's really sticking out here as a big uh, open close deviation or a big VWAP deviation. All right, folks. And here's a look at the uh, the major ETFs with our uh, proprietary scans, the the Comer and the Secret counts on them. What I want to point your attention to is that we're getting really close to uh, some really important numbers here. Uh, in the queues, we're going to be 13 days up today. We're already 13 days up in the aggressive secret countdown, but we're going to be 13 days up in the in the standard countdown. We're also getting really, really close in the Russell. The MDY is a little bit off, but the IWM um, is showing a 13, like the cash Russell Russell on the uh, on the Comer, and also the aggressive uh, countdown. So definitely be aware of that that's really setting up the VIX um, is also 13 days to the downside, which uh, could exert itself and uh, and feel its uh, feel its push on the market this coming week. We've also got a fair number of uh, of stocks that are getting close here. This is the Comer column. This is the uh, standard secret countdown, and this is the aggressive countdown. You can see the aggressive countdowns here. There's a lot of 11, 12s, and a couple of 13s already. So we're really getting along here, and as far as time and price goes on these major ETFs, so we're definitely going to be feeling the influence of that um, starting next week at the at the latest. So keep keep that in mind as you go forward um, next week. Definitely be probably a week where where you could uh, definitely uh, sink your teeth in and hopefully uh, hopefully make some money uh, on some decent moves with some with some fresh energy in the market. All right, folks. Well, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich from TradeSite.